Hi, my dear friends. I am Srinivas in front of you once again. I hope you must have seen my earlier video where I have given a presentation regarding the concept of black and blockchain technology uh, away from the uh, technology which is far far away from the traditional database management and where in blockchain technology the data is being put in the form of a blocks in a decentralized form of ledger covering various geographical area. I have also told you that is it is absolutely impossible as on the current day's technology to uh, hack or break into the chain of blockchain and go into the any block and uh, the security is being given with uh, very toughest alg algorithms it is um, 256 bit of algorithm for each hash uh, header hash in a blockchain technology I have also told you this blockchain technology the conceptualized was somewhere around 2009 and 10 exactly around the same time one Mr. Satoshi of Japan he has conceptualized the digital currency in the form of cryptocurrency where the currency will be easily transferred from one person to person that is P to P that means peer to peer technology I have got some currency with me if I want to transfer it to you there should be some safe, safest way safest mechanism and the easiest way bypassing all the hazards and puzzles of various rules and regulations connected with the international trade and foreign exchange almost uh, he succeeded uh, to a larger extent and he has created the currency called bitcoin now i want to tell you before going further what is a cryptocurrency first point i should tell you what is a cryptography cryptography you must be knowing everything it is a algorithm uh, again a algorithm a complicated algorithm where the, the message which I want to send from me to another person it should reach in a safe way in an unaltered way in a secret way that even if anybody comes across that message he cannot find anything that is I am coding that message and sending it to him so that when he is opening it again there should be a, a key so that the data integrity will be there and the secrecy will be maintained uh, and the purpose will be served. So with this intention cryptography has been developed and in this cryptography as I have told you already in my blockchain technology there will be three issues. One is uh, a private key, the second one is a public key, the third one is a uh, header hash. A private key is absolutely residing with the, uh, the sender here who, who creates the message in a cryptographed message and it as I have told you it is a P P2P based uh, transaction so a direct transaction here and I know the identity of the person who is going to receive my message so I am giving it to him making my message encrypted by means of my private key and the public key he will be having and also the private key also he, be, he will be having there because it is a P2P again I am telling you and he will give his private key and decrypt it with a public key also and the message gets opened and he will be able to receive that exactly the same technology cryptocurrency cryptography is being used while sending the information regarding sale and purchase of any transaction in a cryptocurrency there are two important cryptocurrencies as of now one is bitcoin as I have told you, it is being created by Satoshi of Japan. The other thing is uh, coin. The other thing is Ethereum. So popularly there are so many uh, cryptocurrencies are there and uh, very few are a bit popular. The DC coin is uh, connected with uh, our Tesla person who is uh, you must be knowing he is Elon Musk. So as I have told you, the flow of a message from the creator, from the sender to the receiver is uh, encrypted uh, with the help of a cryptography in a 256 code, uh, bit code, very complicated to break and, uh, and the message of uh, flow of my message uh, in the form of cryptocurrency from the buyer, from the seller to the buyer is transformed by means of encrypted message and the buyer will again decrypt it 
by using his public key and also in a private key. So basically the cryptocurrencies are a digital currency in some way a digital currency in some way where all the other security uh, precautions for flu transfer of funds from one person to another person is ensured here. Now mostly my talk will be focusing on a Bitcoin here. So that is because that is mostly in use now. So suppose myself I want to go and purchase a Bitcoin currency. What is the uh, now what I should do? I should open a digital wallet. I should go to a exchange currency. I should have a, a proper application that is an app to be loaded in my uh, mobile and I should approach a exchange which is dealing with the cryptocurrency. I should make my membership fee and become a member of that particular exchange which is dealing with uh, your Bitcoin and I need to put some money in my wallet in the form of bitcoins by paying the real money. Paying the real money at the rate that is floating in the market. Suppose the value of a bitcoin for 1000 rupees is say for example today is 10,000 rupees. I want to, if I pay 10 lakh, 1 lakh rupees, I will get 10 bitcoins. So that bitcoins once I purchase pay, paying the market value there, 10 bitcoins is being, digital bitcoins are being put in my electronic wallet. So I can use the currency which is there in my wallet, cryptocurrency wallet to make uh, my payments towards the goods and services that I get uh, wherever the, uh, these uh, cryptocurrency like bitcoins are being accepted. So why, why the market is, every government is now thinking about uh, doing something entering into the cryptocurrency, what are the advantages up to that? Actually, the cryptocurrency is a digital currency, more safer than a paper currency and it is outside the purview of your uh, foreign exchange, uh, your money, uh, currency exchanges and currency exchanges and all and local taxes this side and that side and tariffs and this side and that side and there is a direct contract between the buyer and the seller here and again it is throwing away the need for a correspondent bank here. My dear friends, please note it here. Any foreign exchange transactions, whenever I am doing any foreign exchange transactions, sending my shipments to here to some other country, there is a concept of correspondent banking. In once the cryptocurrency is there in place, once the cryptocurrency is being accepted by the, both the seller and the buyer here, the question of a correspondent bank does not arise at all. The other difference between a normal currency and a cryptocurrency is, Basing on the level of inflation, various central banks of the various countries, they print uh, extra currency to meet, the, to meet the inflationary demands and whereas in cryptocurrency, the total money supply in a cryptocurrency is limited to, in a particular in Bitcoin, 21 million in Bitcoins. The other difference between cryptocurrency and the normal currency is, governments goes for printing of the currency notes against the security of gold reserves, whereas for cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency is being given, already created cryptocurrency is being given, a part of it is given to the purchaser against taking the equivalent currency of the legal tender of that particular country at the prevailing rate of the Bitcoin on that particular time. There are so many advantages as I have told you in the cryptocurrency market, but there are so many other disadvantages also. As for the statistics available in the current market, the most of the cryptocurrency most of the cryptocurrency is going towards illegal transactions and to the terrorists where uh, bitcoins and ethereum coins are being traded very freely. And the most important thing is there is no legal sanctity for these transactions. Tomorrow the whole chain of a blockchain of this bitcoin fails, there is no security for the real investor. The whole market of a, the whole market of the bitcoin is being run now in a speculative manner and it takes a very very long time I feel because it is better now central banks are now uh, coining the idea of themselves entering into the digital currency so it is still in the beginning only the cryptocurrency and all I wanted to just tell you what is the ABCs of a cryptocurrency I think I have succeeded in letting you know the basic concepts of the cryptocurrency thank you have a wonderful day please expect most of my educational related uh, video talks in the future. Thank you for your patient listening.